Mr Speaker. I pay tribute to John Wesley Ausnet, who sadly passed away last year. Affectionately known as Wes to his many friends, he was the principal of his long-standing family real estate business, Professionals Chambers Fleming Padstow. John spent over 50 years working in the real estate industry, and in my local community, he was known as Mr Padstow. Throughout the 21 years that I have lived in Padstow, I would often see John when I was buying groceries at the local butcher and fruit and veg shop, or whilst all whilst taking my girls to their dancing lessons. He always had a hello and a smile and knew everyone. John first started his real estate career in his early 20s at an office in Bexley before moving to Schlofel and Sons in Padstow. John set up Chambers Fleming Padstow after buying former mayor Carl Little's real estate office space, which was established in 1956 on the corner of Howard and Faraday Roads, Padstow, known to this day as Little's Corner. John was a well-known mover and shaker in the real estate industry and won several major industry awards, as has his office, which has been consistently ranked in the top three offices throughout Australia for the professionals real estate group. John was also highly valued for his property market knowledge and often provided industry insight and commentary to various media outlets. Being a registered valuer, auctioneer and justice of the peace ensured that John became a familiar face in our area as did becoming president of the Padstow Chamber of Commerce and president of the local Lions Club as well as his involvement in many other local organisations. John was presented with the prestigious International Lions Club Melvin Jones Award, the highest award in the world for the Lions movement. The award was bespoke to John in recognition for his fundraising efforts and tireless service to the community since 1973. Some of John's achievements, including raising over $500,000 in 1983 for St Vincent's Hospital's Victor Chang Institute and more recently for the Lung Foundation. John was born and raised in the local area and was a proud, active and committed member of the community along with his wife Joy and children Belinda, Todd and Dean, who have all followed in the family tradition, each with an important role in the family business. John's three children have listed and sold properties in our local area and are now all directors of the family business, a business that has grown substantially from the five staff members that John originally started with. John stood by the company motto, let our family take care of your family. I read many of the tributes to John and a common theme expressed by his former colleagues and employees is that he made them feel like part of the family. Liz Robinson, his commercial and accounts manager for 27 years, said he had a double lung transplant five years ago and was given five years to live. He certainly made the most of those five years and it was all about family. Bill Cordes, John's sales agent of 19 years, said he owed all of his successes to him. He was the absolute best mentor, appreciated hard workers and would always say, don't worry about what the competition is doing, just put your blinkers on and focus on what you do. He was also the reason I quit smoking and will be greatly missed always. John also made a substantial contribu contribution to various charities. Dr David Horton and the Knights of St George Heart Association wrote they were deeply saddened to hear of the passing of Wes. As a long time supporter of the Knights, Wes will be remembered as a committed member who donated generously to the association to benefit the St George Public Hospital cardiothoracic unit. Mark Brook, the Chief Executive Officer of the Lung Foundation Australia, wrote on behalf of the Foundation, stating, Wes is fondly remembered as a tremendous ambassador for lung health in Australia, a distinguished and eloquent advocate for increased funding for lung patient services and for lung disease research. His lung transplant story inspired many others and gave hope to Australians that better days were ahead. Wes twisted many arms to raise much needed funds for the Foundation and always did so with a devilish sense of humour. The lung health community has lost a tremendous friend. One of John's greatest passions was the St George Illawarra Dragons. The club paid tribute to John following his passing with former Premiership winning captain Steve Edge writing, St George Illawarra recently lost one of its most loyal supporters in John Wesley Ausnet. Affectionately known as Wes, Ausnet was born in Peakhurst and grew up in a Red V jersey. He would become a successful businessman philanthropist, community-minded family man, on top of being a dragon's tragic. The family's uh, real estate business grew to be one of the top professional offices in Australia and he was consistent with his generosity of time for fundraising over the many charities that he supported. Wes's support of the dragons was unflinching and his family organisation has uh, given long-term strong financial supporters of the club and its activities. Vale John Wesley Ausnet.